Hello everyone in grade 6. This is the last video for chapter 6. Today you will see how parallel and perpendicular straight lines form some quadrilaterals. Let us see together. Special quadrilaterals. The parallelogram. A reminder, quadro means four. Quadrilaterals, polygons of four sides. Let us see the parallelogram. This is the figure of a parallelogram. Look at it. Opposite sides are parallel. These are the opposite sides. AB is parallel to CD and AD is parallel to BC. Also, opposite sides are equal. AB is equal to DC or CD. AD is equal to B. C. So these are parallel, parallel, opposite, and also they are equal, opposite to each other. Opposite angles are equal. Angle A is equal to angle C. Angle D is equal to angle B. You will see this later. You have to memorize the properties of every quadrilateral. This is the parallelogram. The rectangle. Opposite sides are parallel and equal, like the parallelogram. But we will see the difference. These are the opposite sides. AB is parallel and equal to CD. AD is parallel and equal to BC. But the four angles are right angles here. 90 degrees. They are perpendicular. These two sides are perpendicular. AB is also perpendicular to AD. All of the sides are perpendicular 2 by 2. The angles formed are 90 degrees. So angle A equals angle C equals angle B equals angle D equals 90 degrees. So the four angles are right angles. This is the difference between the rectangle and the parallelogram. The square. Opposite sides are parallel. AD is parallel to BC. DC is parallel to AB. Four sides are equal. All of the sides, the four sides are equal. AB is equal to BC, is equal to CD, is equal to DA. The four angles are right angles, 90 degrees. Four angles are equal to 90 degrees. This means that the sides are perpendicular to each other. Now the difference between the square and the rectangle is that here we have four equal sides. In the rectangle, opposite sides are equal. The rhombus. Opposite sides are parallel. Here we have AB is parallel to CD. AD is parallel to BC. The four sides are equal. Here we have the four sides are four centimeters. Four sides are equal. Opposite angles are equal. Now the opposite angles A and C are equal. B and D are equal. So the difference between the rhombus and the square is that in the square we have four angles that are right 90 degrees, but here opposite angles are equal. The trapezoid. The trapezoid is different from the others. Only one pair of parallel sides. BC is parallel to AD only, while the other two sides AB and CD are not parallel. The parallel sides are called bases of the trapezoid. These are called bases. Now, they don't have the same length. Look at them. They are called large base AD and the small base BC. Large base, small base. The isosceles trapezoid. Only one pair of parallel sides. Also like the trapezoid, 
The isosceles trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides. AD is parallel to BC. But here, the non-parallel sides are equal. AB is equal to DC. This is the difference. A particular type of quadrilaterals is the kite. Here we have the kite. This is the figure of the kite. The kite is formed by two non-congruent isosceles. Congruent means equal. This means that non-equal isosceles. This is the first A, D, B and the second is C, B, D. They have the same base B, D, the same base, but two different isosceles, non-congruent isosceles triangles. This form is called the kite. A, B, C, D. You have to memorize all the properties. Try if you want to draw them by yourselves. Draw a lot of them. Make projects. And you have a homework, page 89, number 4, for Tuesday, May 26. Thank you.